They say that Telegram is a fully secure messaging app without any flaws. In this video, we will find out whether it's true or Pavel Durov's messenger still has some gaps that need to be fixed. Spoiler alert! We have found some, so let's sort out together what, where and why. Welcome to the Teleblog channel. You can find out all the top tips of the most sophisticated messenger in the world here. Subscribe to the channel right now and let's get going. Pavel Durov, the creator and permanent head of Telegram, always brags about the security of his app, stating that the messenger is fully encrypted. However, if you carefully dig into the functions of Telegram, you can find some gaps there. One of them concerns the de-anonymization of the user in the messenger. In other words, thanks to Telegram, it's quite possible to determine the real name and surname of a person, their nickname, and even get their photos, if you only have their phone number. If you want to de-anonymize a user, you first need to add them to your contact list. To do this, go to the contact list, click plus, enter their phone number and give it any name you like. In fact, the process of de-anonymization happened. If the person uses the same phone number in Telegram, you will see their profile. Here you can find out what nickname the person has in the messenger, which could potentially lead you to other social networks. For example, they could have the same nickname on Instagram. Besides, the user might have their pictures if they didn't hide them. The same goes for the online status. You can either see a specific date or statuses like recently or a long time ago. If you see the word recently or a specific date, it means the person is definitely using the messenger. Long time ago means something else, but we'll talk about that later. And that's not it. Thanks to this feature, you can go even further and find out the person's real name. More precisely, the name they gave themselves in the messenger. To do this, you just need to go to the user's profile, click Edit at the top right corner of the screen and then delete. The user will be deleted from your contact list together with the name you gave them. However, instead, if you go to the chat with them, you'll see the real name the person has. I mean, it's up to you to decide whether it's a live hack or a telegram bug, but in my opinion, it's the responsibility of the messenger developers to fix this. And remember a while ago I mentioned the long time ago status, which you can sometimes notice with some users. Besides the fact that it can really mean that the user has hasn't used their Telegram profile for a very long time, it can also mean that this person has blocked you. If that's the case, in addition to the long time ago statues, the person's profile pictures will be hidden, especially if you remember there'd been some before. Be sure you were blocked. Moreover, when you send a text to the other person, they won't get it, and next to the messages you will only see one check. Another gap in Telegram is the so-called screenshot protection. If you try to take a screenshot or record a screen via other apps in a secret chat, notify that the other user took a screenshot. The messenger can't completely protect you from this, it just sends you alerts. The same applies to disappearing photos. Even if you set a timer for such a picture, the other user could also take a screenshot. I must add that all of the above applies to Telegram and iOS. On Android, you can't take screenshots in a secret chat. It's forbidden. It's possible in a regular chat, though. I mean, even if you try screen recording on Android in a secret chat, the screen will go black, so the protection works just fine. There's no cure for all iOS devices, and there won't be, but one piece of advice here is that if you're afraid the other person might take a screenshot, then just don't send them anything provocative, because there's no other way. The vulnerabilities related to the desktop version and your location is something you shouldn't forget about when using Telegram. These are extremely important nuances we're gonna talk about next. Another problem, which cannot be fully attributed to the Telegram vulnerabilities, but as for me, it's very important for every user to know about, concerns the desktop version of the Messenger. By default, all the video, audio and photo files sent to you are automatically saved in one of the folders on your computer. Usually it's the Telegram folder in your downloads. Check it on your PC. You may be surprised at what is there. If you want to stop this, go to Preferences, then select Advanced Settings, and in the Data and Storage folder, turn on Ask Download Path for each file. That's pretty much it. Now, files won't be saved automatically in the default folder, and you won't have to worry that you might have left something personal on your work PC or your friend's computer. 
One more problematic feature of Telegram is the people nearby. It allows you to find nearby people or groups, but also shows you to the other users nearby. And you may not even be aware of this. To check if your profile has been shown to other users, go to Contacts and then tap Find people nearby. If the messenger here asks you to allow access to get your location, it means you're not visible. But if you tap Find people nearby and you're immediately shown a list of users, then there's a high chance you are in that list for other users too. It's easy to check it. If you are in the nearby list, Telegram will suggest you to disable this feature by tapping on Don't show me. Very often users forget about this and then they get perplexed trying to understand why some strangers are texting them. Overall, you may have noticed that all the problematic issues concern the functionality of Telegram itself. At the same time, the basic protection, encryption and security are at a high level. And if there have been any data leaks from Telegram, it's only due to the carelessness of the users themselves. For example, when they use spy web versions of the messenger. What other Telegram gaps do you know? Do you think the messenger is obliged to fix some of the issues I described today? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below the video. And of course, like like, subscribe and turn on the notifications. These actions promote the channel and inspire me to make more content for you. It's the Telebloke channel. Subscribe and be trendy.